Hello everybody! It's been a long time after the first clip and I am so sorry about that. First of all, thank you so much for your subscription. If you haven't done yet, please feel free to do so and I really appreciate that. Today, I would like to share my personal experience, the tips and techniques, how could I pass a practical test and get a UK driving license. Before you watch it, I would like you to be confident and believe in yourself. If I can do it, so you can do it as well. So if you're ready now, let's go and find out. I took a driving lesson only 10 hours because I am experienced and I have been driving in Thailand for nearly 20 years. We use exactly the same right hand driving and similar rules. And that's the reason why I don't need a lot of hours to practice. I passed a theory test for the first time and practical test for the second time because of a very little mistake. That is very ridiculous. Number one, basic preparation. You should know every button in the car, what are they and how it functions. The examiners may ask you to use it. When should you use it? And explain how it works. So be prepared for everything that may happen inside of the car. This includes the bonnet as well. For example, before you start the engine, the examiners may ask you to open the bonnet and ask you where is the engine coolant or the hydraulic brake fluid. How do you check or fill it up correctly? Number two, concentration. Keep calm and concentrate during the whole journey. It should take you no longer than 25 minutes, so don't worry too much and relax. You may feel nervous because of so many factors on that day, but if you drive and practice enough, so you don't need to worry or panic. You should drive with confidence, and you should think that the examiner is your friend, who asking you to take him home, or you are following the orders from the sat nav. From my experience, actually the examiners are not scary at all. I think they are quite kind and they will try to help you as much as they can. So keep cool, keep calm and have a deep breath. Number three, physical motions. When you are driving, make sure you move your eyes, your neck, shoulders and your head to show the examiners that you are clearly do it. For instance, when you park or pull over and ready to go again, you have to move your head 90 degrees to show that you are checking everything around the car on the left and right. When you are looking through the rear mirror, make sure you move your head a little as well because the examiners may not see you are looking on it. This can show the examiners that you clearly do it because sometimes they cannot see you are moving your eyes particularly then you may get a small fault. Number four, flashing lights. When you park or pull over and ready to go again, but you see the cars are coming behind you, so you have to wait until all of them have gone. You should let them go first until you see the empty road and then you can go. Although the car behind you allow you to go first by flashing the lights, but please don't go because this is a serious fault and you're going to fail like me before. You don't have to worry about people are waiting for you too long. Just make sure you are driving safely and carefully because your test is more important. Even though the roads are very narrow, just stop and wait. No matter how long will it take or how many cars in the queue, but it doesn't matter. Remember, you have to pass the test this time, not next time. If you are going to turn right to another road and you see the car is coming in front of you and flashing the light to let you go first, please don't go because this is a serious fault again and you are going to fail. Just wait until the roads are empty and then you can go. Sometimes they are just too kind and wanted to help you but they don't know that kindness can make you a trouble as well. Number five, speed control signs. You have to observe every speed control sign that you see on the roads to guide you strictly. For example, when you see the blue background, you have to drive at the minimum speed limit that identify on the signs. If you see the red circle, 
you have to drive not faster than the number in the circle that identified. For example, in the tau, it should not faster than 30. This depends on the size that you see. Number 6. Roundabouts At roundabouts, select the correct lane that you want to go and indicate if necessary. And always let the cars on your right hand side to go first. No matter how many of them, just be patient and keep calm. You have to wait until everything on the right hand side is completely clear, then you can go. Don't worry about the people who are waiting behind you. Again, you have to pass the test today, not the next time. The last one, number seven, instinct or resourcefulness. Mistakes may happen, but if you already made it, so you have to use your instinct to solve the problems in front of you smartly and carefully. For example, the examiner asks you to turn right at the next traffic light, but you forgot to use the right lane to turn right, or it is too late to do so. In this case, you can tell the examiner that you cannot turn right and indicate in time because it is dangerous to do so or it is too late because the road is too busy at the moment. You can tell the examiner that you will go straight and make a U-turn to that road, is that okay? And this can help you not to get a serious fault. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope this clip will help you a little bit. If you like it or you think this video clip is helpful, please feel free to give your thumbs up, share and subscribe my channel. Please also feel free to leave your questions or comments down below. If you're having a test tomorrow, so have a good rest tonight, be in time tomorrow and arrive earlier. Be relaxed, drive carefully and don't worry too much because if I can do it, so you can do it as well. Just think carefully and quickly to solve the problem in front of you. So that's the most important of this video clip. Finally, best of luck for everybody for your test and see you next time.